here's the uh, DC Universe uh, Batman Legacy Collection Catman. Um, I'm not super familiar with this character. I mean, I knew he came up in the 60s. Um, I do remember his Dark Knight uh, storyline in 1993 where he was um, killing uh, women and then uh, Batman and a Catwoman uh, stopped him and just really beat the snot out of him. Um, yeah, that's about it. He does have a really cool um, costume. It's real Batman-esque. Um, it's almost uh, um, like they took Batman and Catwoman and kind of meshed them together and gave him a totally weird alley cat looking uh, costume. Because um, his basic profile is he, he's, a, he's a master thief, um, villain kind of guy. Um, doesn't really say he has any kind of redemptive qualities like Cat, Catwoman does. But uh, yeah, pretty neat. That is a pretty cool looking figure. I think I got him as part of the... Uh, when Toys R Us is doing like the buy one get one half off or buy two get one free and ended up he was like one of the only ones on the shelves that I didn't have so I was like okay I'll go ahead and get it um, but yeah he looks pretty cool I mean you know what I paid full retail for him yeah maybe just wasn't really familiar with the character and um, just really have any place on the shelf for him I guess I can squeeze him on my Batman shelf but I was primarily getting the superpower super friends figures like 99% of the DCUC fans were getting so Let's crack him out of the package and uh, check him out a little bit closer. Alright, so here is Catman out of the packaging. He's actually a pretty cool figure. Um, he's got great detailing on there. Um, he's got his uh, his uh, logo, I guess, like uh, um, scratches on there with a nice little black outline. Um, he's got mostly a tan uh, upper torso and, and thighs. And it's uh, highlighted with a bunch of um, uh, like overspray. It's not really a wash; it's like an overspray, kind of uh, getting in some of the um, detailed areas there, adding a little bit of depth. Um, he's got some decently painted eyes there behind his mask, which um, for whatever reason the DC UC figures tend to actually uh, be pretty good. He's got some nice uh, stubble sculpted in there, even though they didn't really um, highlight it with any kind of wash or anything like that. Um, it's got a cool little belt, some silver, uh, actually I guess it's kind of like a silverish pewter um, kind of uh, accents on there. He's got gold banding on his uh, cuffs of his gloves and his boots and down on the toes as well. Um, he's got pockets all the way around there and everything. Um, yeah, I mean the paint looks great on this guy. I was actually kind of surprised. He, it's one of those figures that every now and then you come across somebody, it might be a B-list, C-list, character or just something you're not familiar with and you end up with the, with the figure and it just ends up being cool just for what he is um, uh, as far as the character in the comics this uh, woman killing uh, machine or whatever um, that gets beat down by Batman kind of sucks but you know what I think in a uh, in my alternate continuity I think him and Bronze Tiger would team up and be like a uh, anti anti-hero kind of team um, kind of thing uh, the one thing I didn't really care for are his claws. They kind of suck. Um, they just kind of flop around. I th they'd been better if they'd been uh, fit to his uh, knuckles a little bit more. Um, almost Wolverine style, I guess. But a lot of the artwork that I found online didn't really have him with any kind of claws. He did have a uh, like a knife strapped to each um, each thigh. Um, so I think I would have preferred that better. But eh, whatever. Still pretty cool looking. Um, he's got the standard, um, let me get this claws off here before I lose him. Oh. Also, it comes with a, uh, poster, you see in the background there. Um, to get these things flat, I just stick them inside of a, uh, comic book, um, bag and backer. And sandwich them in with a bunch of books, and then, after a few months, they're flat. No biggie. Um, just be careful, um, uh, not the legacy line is, like, over. But if you end up, uh, busting some of these guys out of the packaging, um, just take a knife and pop that little rubber band. Don't even try to bother rolling it off. Um, but uh, he's, he's pretty cool. He's got the regular old articulation, like I was saying. Um, he's got it up down, which mine's nice and tight and squeaky. Left, right there, kind of like a pseudo ball joint. Um, he's got the pseudo ball shoulders. Swivel bicep. Single point elbow. And a swivel wrist. Also has ab crunch, which works. And just for Chapman films, no flocky, floppy leg syndrome. He's totally stiff, which I know he's had problems with the Superman figures, but I digress. He's got a nice uh, waist swivel um, that kind of 
it's kind of hidden by the belt there. It's nice and rubbery. It has like the standard um, DC UC style hips there, which swing back and forth in and out. It's got a yeah, thigh cut swivel, single point knee, which uh, it goes past 90 degrees just a little bit. The sculpt works really well right there. Not bad. Plus, he's got the um, standard um, swivel type um, ankle joint. Um, one thing I noticed, I was looking at him trying to figure out what bucks they used. I, I couldn't find all the bucks. Like the chest, shoulders, biceps, um, the waist, thighs, all um, appear to be your standard overused um, Batman, Superman, whatever skin type male buck um, you want to throw in, uh, you know, pick one. That's probably the, the same part. But then the head is actually a new sculpt, as far as I can tell. Um... Which actually, this would be really, really cool if you paint it black and gave it to the um, Yellow Lantern Batman instead of having that uh, really angry face, but it gives you like a scruffy kind of alternate uh, Bruce Wayne kind of visage there. Um, but yeah, like his cuffed, um, his cuffed uh, gauntlets, um, they, um, I, I didn't have anybody on my shelf that had the same gauntlets. Nobody else had the same um, belt. Um, of course, I didn't see him with a cape with the straps like that. That's that's probably character centric, um, or character specific or whatever. Um, the boots they actually have this line is actually sculpted in right there where the gold is on the bottom. It's sculpted in, and then on the bottom as well. And then he has like the slightly bent up toes, so it gives you a nice nice platform for running there, so you can just kind of put them down on the on the ground. But yeah, he's got a really cool sculpt. Um, he does have the uh, the big chunk in his um, back there for the um, cape to snap into, which kind of sucks. It's all glued and all that. I, I prefer that stuff be removable, but yeah, it's still not too bad. Um, overall, like out of ten, I'd probably give this guy about about a nine. Um, from the artwork that I saw, he's true to that. He came with a poster. A stand, a couple of claws, which weren't necess necessary, um, and all the detail and paint were good on him. Nothing broken, nothing squeaky, no messed up paint. I can't even believe Mattel made this, especially after that awesome uh, Voltron and uh, the hoverboard fiascos. Not to mention the hit or miss with the um, Masters of the Universe classics figures. Um, how does he stand up with the regular figures? Well. Being the same buck, he's about the same size. And just to give you guys a sneak peek of what's probably going to be my next video, we'll just put him next to Nightfall Batman here. And yeah, pretty cool. Um, like I said, I, I could see using using the the Catman as a uh, as yet another Batman variant, just repaint it. Um, so I might look into that if I can score another one of these cheap. He wasn't super popular. He was like pretty much a peg warmer. Um, and I just ended up getting him because he's on sale. But even a full price, that whole thing is a nine. Um, great paint, great sculpt, a good reuse of parts, and a good addition of new parts, great accessories, and a cool poster there with um, him and Batman flying through Gotham or falling through Gotham. Or, yeah. So, anyway, not bad. So, you know what? If you don't have one, you should get one, even if you're not familiar with the character. He's a great addition to the little Batman um, legacy. And there you go, the uh, DC Universe Legacy Collection, Batman Legacy Collection, Catman. Cool. Definitely a, uh, definitely a 9. Not bad for a B-lister. Cool.